You're right, guys, welcome to Hopeless Chat. My name's Gary, aka Hopeless, and in this video, I will be showing you how I've painted this mimic barrel from Toad King Castings. Um, you might notice from the picture straight away that I've not done the base. That is simply because I'm doing this video as part of a series of little videos as I make a small diorama for this month's model box uh, competition. So, uh, let's see how this goes. I will see there's a little disclaimer, there's a couple of shots in this video that are slightly out of focus. I'm currently suffering from eye issues. Um, I've got some sort of weird smudge over right in the centre of my right eye which is making it hard to focus. Apparently I've got a little bit of swelling back there and that's pressing on my optic nerve which, uh, which is fun, let me tell you. So uh, I apologise for that straight away. Uh, in any case, let's get on with this. I started off with my standard Mechanic and Grey undercoat with uh, Wraith Bone highlighting and once that was done I painted the wood of the barrel with uh, contrast paint, uh, Wildwood. And I think it actually came out quite nicely, I like, I've never really painted anything like this little creature before, and this is only a short video, I know this, because it's only a little miniature, um, but uh, I like how it comes out, the eyes were fun. We'll get to those in a minute, though. I did want to try and make this as uh, traditional, mimicky looking as I could, which sounds weird saying out loud. And here's one of those shots that uh, is ever so slightly out of focus. I do apologise, but uh, it's just finishing off the wood. For the tongue and tentacle feet things at the bottom I went over with Magos Pink, uh, initially it comes out quite faded, I do give it another coat once it's dry though, just to sort of thicken it up a little bit. Um, I tried to be careful but then sort of realised I'm going to go over the teeth and gums in a bit anyway, so just sort of thought, sod it, let's do it. Mainly because it also gave me a chance to test out this uh, Instar Alpha paint. Uh, they sent deep red and a, a blue, I can't remember which one it is at the moment because it's out of sight uh, in this month's model box. And um, I'm going to say the, the red goes down quite well. Single coat, didn't have to thin it. I enjoyed using it. Of course it would have been a lot better if uh, this was slightly more in focus. There you go, better shot. So I did the gums and the eyeballs with uh, this, this new alpha paint from Instar. And as I said, I quite liked it. Of course doing the eyes when you can't really see too well is uh, probably not a great idea. I did make a couple of mistakes, um, but I managed to clean it up. I think it went well, just had to take my time and sort of squint a little bit. Squinting always helps. Uh, of course I did have to use my psycho brush to do some of the smaller eyeballs, um, which I actually found easier to do because of, uh, well, my, my eye issue. Yeah, for once I actually did notice when it was slightly out of focus. And it's, it's going along quite nicely at this point. And then once all that was dry I went over the actual teeth themselves with Wraith Bone, brighten them up a little bit, make it look a little bit more monstrous. And then we moved on to the metal bands going around the barrel. Now I started off using Iron Warrior's metallic paint. Um, because in my head I wanted to try and use a sort of, I don't want to say gritty realistic look, but I just wanted something a little bit darker, sort of maybe so you look at this, you, you know, someone might look at this barrel in passing and go, oh, something not quite right with that, and then it eats your face. Um, but it came out too dark for my liking, so I, I switched over to Grey Knight Steel, 
which I think you can see instantly there is a massive difference between the two of them. And I kind of like it. Well, I, I like it, and I, I do like it. I like it more than I liked the uh, Iron Warriors one. Um, sort of a little bit cartoony, but not really out of the ordinary. So if I, I, these things come into my head, and I don't really know if they're making sense to people other than me. Um, but it, it comes out quite well. And once all that was all dry, I went over the tongue and the feet with Magos Purple and uh, gave the eyeballs a shot because I want some pupils in there. And I'm actually quite happy with how they come out. It took me a long time to do though. I'm not still not too steady with my hands. And there he is. That is the Mimic Barrel from Toad King Castings. I say, it didn't, didn't take too long to do, but with the issues I've had at home, um, health-wise, um, took a lot longer than I thought it would. I'm really happy how it came out, and I am looking forward to seeing how this goes in with the rest of the diorama I'm building. Um, obviously, the theme for the last month's uh, model box was dungeon level two, so I'm going to try and build like a small dungeon scene with the hero about to walk around a corner and uh, a couple of creatures obviously about to eat his face so it should be good and I am going to record the process uh, I got the base parts sort of made up now I'm waiting for glue to dry I just need time before work to uh, get it done which will be my biggest problem um, in any case if you did like this video please do leave a comment leave a like let me know what you think down below and uh, maybe subscribe for more stuff like this if you want in the future uh, until next time, my name is Gary, aka Hopeless. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time. See ya!